All right, buddy, here's part three. So I've got my chicken breasts, all six of them butterflied, opened up just like that. If you do accidentally cut through it too much, it's okay. It's just you got two halves. You can still do that. You, you, if it's butterflying is too difficult for you, just go ahead and do that. Just cut it all the way in half um, so you have smaller breasts. It's all the same stuff. Here's all my tenderloin. I've got all my tenderloin cut into cubes and I put it in a plastic bag. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator for now. So here's my mess left over from the chicken packaging with the, um, the fat and stuff I trimmed off of, the breasts and the, t and the tenderloins. So I'm gonna get that thrown away. And so now here's my marinade. So um, here's my air fryer pan. I, I think your air fryer might be different. If you don't have an air fryer, you can even use a oven um, to do this at like, you know, 370 for, uh, or 375 for 14 minutes roughly. Um, so anyway, so what I'm gonna do is put each breast, I'm gonna put a few in a time in there and just kind of toss it. Get my fork out of there. Just kind of toss them in there, not doing a heavy coating, just getting a kind of a light coat of the yogurt marinade onto the chicken, just like that. And then we'll set this right here, just like that. So just kind of making sure we get light coating on everything, not, obviously not heavy, because this did not make a lot of marinade. Um, so anyway, so in my air fryer pan, I'm gonna do this in two batches. So, um, cause my pan's not big enough. I don't have, you know, it's not big enough to do all six. But if you did this in an oven on a cookie sheet, you could do all six at one time. So there's, there's my yogurt marinated chicken. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer for uh, 375 for about 14 minutes. Hope this helps you.